This is the Self-Aware Leader Podcast. Now your host, Jason Rigby. The right people. Well, what do you mean the right people, Jason? We're going to talk about how to avoid the wrong people and surround yourself with positive people. You know as well as I do as a leader, it's crucial to make sure the right people are around you. You may even have right now. Some of you are listening right now and you just name the name of a person, of a human that you're like, yeah, this isn't the right person. Some of you are in a relationship right now and you know, you know 100% that the relationship you're in is not the right person. But yet you choose to surround yourself with wrong people. So we're going to talk about how to fix this. This is going to be a fun one today. And I think it's it's going to be, and, and hopefully, I hope that it, it, it hits you upside the head hard enough to cause you to take your ego and your stubbornness and to put it out there to the point where you can make a change, where you can think enough and be like, yeah, I'm going to make a change. Yeah, this needs to happen. Because, and, and this is the key, guys, and I want you to understand this. This is so vital. You may think that you're strong enough to avoid adopting the worst of others, but the truth is that we unconsciously become what we're near. Can I say this again? I'm going to say this again, and I want you, if you're in your car right now, if you got your headphones on, you're at the gym. A lot of you tell me you're at the gym and you listen to me. I want to motivate you right now because I'm going to give you some clarity. You ready? You may think that you're strong enough to avoid adopting the worst of others. But the truth is that we unconsciously become what we're near. If you're surrounded by negativity, sooner or later, it's going to sneak in. Have you ever seen a fire? And this is, this is, I want you to think of it this way. If you're in a room and there's a fire in a house and it's a wood house, it's like matchsticks, an old wood house. I want you to picture that and you're in a room and you shut the door, the smoke and the fire sooner or later is going to get you. If you're surrounded by negativity, mark my words, you will become negative too. That's why a few things are more important in life than avoiding the wrong people. I will make it an effort to make sure when I find a wrong person that's not right for me, I'm I'm, I'm 180 degrees out for that. I have no commitment to that person whatsoever for anything in my life. I'll remove myself so quickly because the most significant factor that impacts, science has proven that your behavior and your success is the people we spend time with. Your colleagues, who's negative that you can eliminate out of your life? Your employees, what's negative employee that you know you've been passive aggressive You've gotten on to them a couple times, but you know they need to be fired. It's time to do it. Prepare yourself. Get a coaching session together. And I'm telling you right now, you can DM me if you've got some questions on how to fire somebody properly. I'd be more than happy to answer you. You guys DM me all the time. Sometimes I'll give you like a voice message because it's easier for me to just, you know, tell you what I'm thinking about in the situation And I know those are kind of cheesy or whatever. Some people don't like those, but I think it gets the point across a lot better than sitting there just typing it all out. You have an employee that's the wrong person. You need to get rid of them. Friends, you have a couple friends. It's the wrong person. You've kept them around for what type of loyalty? Family members. There are family members you know that are toxic. Maybe you're in a toxic relationship. These people have a profound influence on your life. Their attitudes, their beliefs, their behaviors will rub off on you quicker than you can realize. Ask somebody external. I've seen this happen so many times. Somebody go into a toxic environment and after six months to a year to two years later, they're just like that toxic environment. Whether it's a toxic, I I have a friend of mine that works for a toxic boss. And they have started to develop toxic behaviors themselves. They become short temper. They become irritated. They're super critical of others. Like everything is negative constantly. Everything's negative. 
They're just bitching about everything. Every little thing just drives them nuts. And I'm going to tell you something else. It's not just the toxic behaviors like, for instance, you know, they're angry all the time, but I kind of deal with it. Or, you know, it's my boss and they're, they're this. They, they're, they're handsy and too flirty with me, but I kind of deal with it. You know, it's not, it's not just that. If you hang around people who are lazy and unmotivated, you're going to adopt that too. In work and in life. And it's not just negative behaviors that we pick up from others. We can also learn positive behaviors too. So when, get this, when you surround people who are ambitious, hardworking, positive, you're going to pick up those traits too. We're like little subconscious sponges. And that affects our consciousness. You'll be inspired to work harder, take risks, and push yourself to be the best version of yourself. You see this. You can see this all the time. When you were more motivated to go to the gym and you met a couple friends and you met some people at the gym and you kind of started hanging out and you kind of got like a little tribe together, you couldn't wait to go to the gym. You were so excited. They rubbed off on you. And your body got better, didn't it? And you looked good because they all looked good. And they were dedicated, so you were too. So let me ask you this. This is the million-dollar question. You ready? How do you avoid the wrong people? I know it's not easy, but it's essential. So I'm going to give you a few tips the rest of this podcast to help you be self-aware enough, become a leader, and diss these wrong people. Get them the freak out of your life. A few tips. Here we go. Number one, identify the wrong people. The first step is to identify the people who have a negative impact on your life. I always say this. I've got my pad right here in front of me. This is my little self-aware pad. I'm going to make one of these after I make our community. Um, and I encourage each of you to be looking for that really soon. should be in the next um, 30 to 60 days. I'm working on it. We're going to have a group uh, where we can talk because I get so many DMs and so many of you tell me about how you love the podcast and how it's changing your life. And I want to uh, be of a help, help to you. So having Zoom calls where we can all get together have conversations, answer some of the, uh, I, I did the 25 top leadership questions that I get all the time. Uh, I did two two or three episodes on that here a while back. You can just search on Spotify or Apple, you know, with my name and then top 25 and you'll see those. But we're going to create a community. Yeah, it's going to be, you're going to pay for it. It's not that expensive. It'll be fine. It's just a monthly price, but there'll be a lot of things that'll be happening on that, some more content. Um, so it'll be awesome and it'll be specifically geared for you guys. But identifying the wrong people, number one, write this down. My pad's right here. I was telling you, my self-aware pad, I'm going to write down who's having a negative impact on my life. Friends, employees, employers, family members, relationship. Who's having a negative impact on my life? It's that simple. Don't make it any more complicated. Start writing names down. Don't go, oh, well, you know, I've kind of known them for 22 years. So No, write their name down. If you, if your higher self, you're getting in touch with yourself. If your higher self is putting that name out there, you need to write it down. Just write it down. You're just putting names down. There's no commitment to get rid of these people yet. You're just putting the names down. You're identifying who has a negative impact on your life and go through them all. Maybe it's somebody you haven't talked to in two years. Write them down. Maybe it's somebody that you see every day. Write that person's name down. Start by identifying the wrong people. Number two, minimize your exposure. Once you've identified the wrong people, minimize your exposure to them. This means avoiding them altogether, getting the, getting rid of them out of your life. If you can't, limit your interactions with them. You can be short with somebody and nice and loving. Being loving to someone is, I'm not going to put up with your bullshit. I don't have to swim in that shit. That's what I say. Jason, you don't have to swim in that shit. That's theirs to swim in. I'm not, I don't swim in shit. I'm not dealing with any toxicity, and I don't deal with drama at all. If somebody's going to be a drama king or a drama queen, I am out. That is not entertaining to me. I don't even watch reality shows because I don't like any of that bullshit. It's just all ego, low vibration. Next, start to surround yourself with the right people. Instead, focus on spending time with people who have a positive influence on your life. Write those people down. Who has a positive influence on my life right now? Who would I like to get to know more because I feel like they're positive? Write that down. Who would I like to spend time with more because they make me feel good inside? 
write them down. Seek those people out, colleagues, friends, mentors, people who inspire you. People, listen to me, guys, people who bring out the best in you. You go to lunch with them and you're motivated after. You go out on the night of the town and have some drinks and you're buzzing the next day because you're not because of the alcohol, but because it was just such an awesome time. That person makes you feel amazing. Those are the people you're going to hang out with. You may have 25 people and now you're down to four. But those four, you need to meet their friends because I guarantee you their circle and tell them, say, hey, I've gotten rid of a lot of toxic people in my life. You're one of the people that really motivate me and bring out the best in me. I love you. Tell people, you guys, you guys, you need to tell people more about how you feel about them. You inspire me. I love you. You bring out the best in me. I want to meet other people that you may know that have that. Can we have some drinks with some of your other friends that are like that? They're going to say, hell yeah. I would love to introduce you to Susan or Tony or whoever. I would love for you to, yeah, well, that would be awesome. We can have like brunch Sunday. Is that cool? And then now you've got three and now you just met a new friend and you, and you follow them on Instagram and you start commenting on their posts and tell them how awesome they are and inspiring. And then you go have lunch with them on their own. And now you just got a new friend. See how easy that is? Some of you have people on Instagram that are inspiring you. And they seem like they have a positive life. And you followed them for a while. Why haven't you had lunch with them? You should. Simple. I do it all the time. You can DM somebody and have lunch with them. It's that simple. I want to get to know them more as a human. Next, be selective. When hiring employees or choosing business partners, be selective. I've had this happen with like four or five different business partners, guys. I've made this mistake. That's why I don't have a business partner now but you know some of you do um or if you're looking at getting into a business partner be selective a business partner is just like a relationship it's the same you're going to go through a divorce when you're with them and everything else legally with paperwork it is the same the same exact thing so you need to date and court or whatever word you want to use your business partner just don't take it on a whim because you you i've had people will change 180 degrees when it comes to money when it comes to money and ideas, ego takes a huge place in there. And you guys need to have a conversation on that. I've eliminated a couple of business partners that I was going to go into business with just off of this. I sat down and had a conversation with them. We were at a brewery and I was like, hey, how's your ego? What do you mean? I don't really have an ego. Well, how, how are you with when somebody disagrees with decisions that you make? So what if I disagreed with you on a decision? How would that go? And if they don't have an answer and they're not expressing humility, then you need to tell them, yeah, no, nah, I don't think the partnership's right. I've said that I don't know how many times. No, I don't think I'm, I'm interested. Thanks anyways. Appreciate it. Look for people who share your values and have a positive attitude towards work and life. Stop dealing with these negative people that are negative all the time about every single thing. You do not need them in your life. It is... You are subconscious sponge, dude, subconscious sponge. And I'm going to close in this. As a leader, it's crucial to surround yourself with the right people. The people around us have a profound influence on our life, and it is up to us. It is up to us, guys, to choose who we spend our time with. Avoid the wrong people. I want inspiring individuals. I want ambitious individuals. Maybe, maybe I, I want to be more creative, so I'm going to hang out with eccentric artists. That's what I like to hang out with. Tattoo artists. I hang out with all different types of people. I like those type of people anyways. It helps my creativity. It helps my work in marketing. I like people that are, I like, you know, having, I have multiple mentors and I bug them and they're fine with it. And I, I'm respectful, but I'll bug them. I want to hang out with ambitious and inspiring people. Remember the changes are too gradual to notice until they are too large to address. So choose wisely. Thank you for tuning in to the Self-Aware Leader Podcast with host Jason Rigby. We hope this episode has inspired you to unleash your full potential and embrace your inner leadership. By expanding your consciousness, you can transform your mind, body, and soul and become the remarkable leader you were always meant to be. If you found this episode valuable, please share it with your loved ones and help us expand our community. Thank you for listening, and we look forward to having you join us again on the Self-Aware Leader Podcast. <laughs>